Evening Troopers, I'm fat and relax, I'm hilarious. Boobies. <laughs> See, I'm hilarious. You laughed then, didn't you? Yeah. So, um, what have we been doing this weekend? Well, yesterday I saw Ecto-1. What is Ecto-1A? Um, some guys had bought an old Cadillac Curse. And for some reason they made it look like the Ecto-1A from Ghostbusters 2. Um, that's sort of like cosplaying as Hufflepuff for me. Do you know what I mean? Um, you, you've picked, you know, if, if I'd got access to a Cadillac 19, was it 1959 Cadillac convertible um, and the know-how to turn it into a screen replica of a Ghostbusters car, I think I'd be going for, you know, Ecto-1 from the original. Um, but they're happy with it, fair play to them. I'm not going to judge. Uh, so that was nice, I got to see that, um, and I enjoyed that. I got to build a Patronus out of Lego. Mine looked like a squid thing, pretty cute. Uh, I bought some bits, I bought some bits. I bought a, a Wii to uh, HDMI, because the old one I have actually, actually gave away, I think, uh, and I've been using it, so I bought a new one, and they work really well, and it's only like a fiver, uh, and this is what they look like. A wee takes too much, just that, nothing to it, just that. They work really well. Um, it's a fiver. Even if it didn't work well, it's a fiver, isn't it? So, uh, so that's nice. It comes in a box. And I also, excuse me, I also bought some Star Wars stuff. Um, I know, out of character. I, I, and I got it for ridiculously cheap as well. Um, I think the box the box price is like 20 quid. I got it for like less than a fiver from a genuine toy shop as well. Um, so it's a Wampa from Hoth. Do you like that? That's a really nice Wampa actually. It's almost Black Series quality. Uh, and he's even got, make sure I pull the right one off, uh, an arm off. Uh, for, when, for when Luke chops him quick snap with his old lightsaber. Um, Oh, he looks a zombie. I want to eat your face. So that's a really nice little figure, that is. And, and I'm, I'm happy with that. I'd almost pay that what I did just for the one pet. I won't pay 20 quid for it. But it was worth like 5 uh, And with that, you also get uh, a Hoth Luke. Um, it's not the best figure, to be honest. However, what you can do is you can have a, a holstered pistol in that scale that's quite nice actually see i've got the pistol in my hand there so uh, so that's quite nice so that's going in the old luke skywalker display area because i like luke skywalker he's a good he's a good character he's the hero it's his journey it's his story anything else is just you know and there he is looking very you know wistful and heroic in his Hoth gear. It's not as good as the original uh, Luke Skywalker in Hoth, which I think it was the only Hoth, the only Luke Skywalker figure I ever had. And I think that's possibly one of the best action figures ever made. Genuinely, I do. Um, I know Toy Galaxy will probably disagree, but I really like it. So yeah, that's nice. Um, so that's what I've been, I've been doing. I've been playing a lot of Fallout 4. Our regular viewers, you know, all three of you, will know that I didn't do my gag there of Fallout 4, Lout 4, Lout, I did it then. But no, the first time I played it, I didn't necessarily dig it. Uh, in fact, I sort of quit out, not through rage quit, just pure apathy, um, because I didn't like the, sell the, the settlement building. It was just too much hassle. Um, it wasn't for me, but I've ignored that this time. I just carried on with the questing, carried on with the story, digging it. So that's cool. Um, and I'm still playing Fallout Shelter, months down the line not cost me a bean nice touch um and i'm also genuinely considering and i haven't yet but i am considering the ea uh pass thing where you pay like 20 quid and you get access to all ea games I'm not a massive ea fan however that is a good deal however where you cut that that's a really good deal um because that's a year it's not a month, that's a year. 
So for like, what, two and a bit months of Netflix, you get a year's worth of EA games. And there's some good ones, like this Titanfall, Titanfall 1, that's no good, you know, but Titanfall 2 is a career mode. I can't imagine there's many people playing it, but there's still a career mode on Titanfall 2. I don't know how good it is, because I never played it. Um, there's quite a few sports games, as you'd imagine, which aren't really for me. But there's quite a few other games. Um, and it's... If you haven't got EA, if you haven't got Battlefront 2 yet, then that counts. That's on there. So that's that's worth it for that, really. I actually am one of the few people who like Battlefront 2. Um, I've had a lot of fun and I've put a lot of hours into Battlefront 2. Um, and I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. So, uh, oh, and they are Battlefront 1 and 5. They, they, they are what they are, aren't they? You know, but that's not bad. You can play them anytime you want. That's 20 quid. I think that's probably worthwhile. Um, other news I'm still thinking about what I'm going to do next in, in the man cave uh, because like I said I've only been here like 10 months now I mean, lived, you know, I've lived, lived in this house 10 months uh, and I've pretty much got it how I want it but there's still areas that I don't think are quite as cool as they could be and I'm, you know like the coke can I'm constantly with I don't know whether you've probably seen the coke can if you like so regularly I'm still working on that. I put some shelves in there for controllers. That's coming together. Um, I'm starting to subconsciously leave room for a one-up cabinet, even though I know I'm not going to get one, which is terrifying because it's like a, it's like a middle-aged lady who really wants kids but can't have them, and starts to like clear a room for a nursery. You know, it's like there's a little there's a little bit of of, of wistful sadness about me not getting a one-up. And I do, uh, however, happy, happy, joy, joy. Um, we can't always get what we want. The best is, the thing is to do is to make the best of it. And I'm nothing if not an expert on making the best of it. Um, that's where I am, really. I'd like to make this room. I'd, I've considered thinning down my console collection to make room for collectibles. Um, because I don't always play on these old consoles. And a lot of them are shelf collecting things. And they're just there gathering dust. But then I know I'd regret it if I sold them. I got hold of a, an 8-inch LCD TV the other day, um, which had a TV tuner in it. And I thought, you know what, I might have a go at some of the old console, the really old ones. They might work mm -hmm. on that. However, they didn't. Well, the TV didn't work. That's the, sh that's the problem of it. It's designed to go into trucks and stuff for reversing cameras and stuff. Unfortunately, the past, it, well, it wasn't working. So that scuppered that plan. Um, as you might have noticed I've cut down the number of videos I'm doing that's purely because I've been really busy recently it's not because I fell out with you and I don't love you anymore you're still my number one guy uh, but you know I'd, I'd want to start doing like quality not quantity uh, and talking about specific things that I'm enjoying because that's that's what you want you don't want me just talking about things I found in my navel on you know and also I'm starting to roll out cool stuff to have because I've been around this room kind of three times and you guys have seen all you needed to do. So it started to get a little bit of traction and now it's slapped off a little bit. We're sitting about 150 subscribers. We're only getting about 15 to 20 regular views. At some point, at some point, it's going to start of tapering off, but I'm still enjoying doing it, so why not? Um, if you want to stop that happening, share. Um, the videos you do like um, please tell your friends um, and then we'll just see where it goes I'll, as long as I keep enjoying it and you guys keep enjoying it I'll keep doing it so if you've enjoyed this video tonight although there's not really much to talk about although it's just bits and bobs hit like subscribe and the bell if you haven't hit subscribe and the bell already please hit like why not I like it don't hit thumbs down and hopefully I'll be back tomorrow night for a Monday night spotlight, because I'm not going to stop doing them because they're fun on a bun. Right, in the meantime, babes, don't go changing. You know you're my favourite.